I introduced this bill because oftentimes when we're down here talking about tax policy, we talk about what's good for small businesses. Small businesses are sort of the, the engine that make the economy go. Um, but small business income flows through to your tax form. They're passed through uh, entities. And so the impact to a lot of what we do down here in tax policy world kind of gets just lost in that shuffle. So by allowing for an alternative that is entirely optional, it will allow us to start crafting policies aimed at helping small businesses. That was the purpose behind this bill. Now, folks have said this is an end run around Prop 208. I find that a, I find that a curious argument given the arguments folks made on behalf of Prop 208. And I'm just going to read some of these. Now, these are from the publicity pamphlet. The argument that our opponents make is that this is going to tax small business owners, and that's completely false. It's legally impossible for any business to be taxed under Prop 208. Now, perhaps they were saying that because, again, pass-through income flows through, and so it's not singled out, but that doesn't make it any more true. So if this is having an impact on Prop 208 revenue, then this would seem to be false. The argument that was used to sell it to the public, which, by the way, hardly a mandate, 51 point something percent of the vote. And I've heard from a number of folks who supported it who said, you know what? I do want more money for education. But I would have preferred a different alternative, or I certainly don't want to do it on the backs of our small businesses, especially at a critical time like this when they're struggling to survive. So this bill is about allowing us to focus on them. Now, I realize it makes some people uncomfortable because maybe, as it turns out, what they sold Prop 208 on turned out to be spin, turned out to be not accurate. Okay, And now we have, effectively, without something like this that allows us to tailor our tax code, we have a higher income tax rate on small businesses than we do the big guys in this state. And there is a lot of concern about what that's going to do to our economy. But I just want to be clear about what this is trying to do. This is trying to communicate that we're not going to tax our small businesses more than our big businesses. We have to compete with other states. And we in this state are interested in creating tax policy that is good for small businesses. It's as simple as that. And if folks are going to bring in the 208 discussion, then they're going to have to remind people that it was sold as this won't impact our small businesses. If that's true, then this is a good bill. And I vote aye on Senate Bill 1783.